Hello and welcome back to the readings for the 8th Sunday in Ordinary Time, February 26, 2017. The first reading is from Isaiah chapter 49, verse 14 through 15, pardon me. Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even would she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Then the psalm is Psalm 62, verse 2 through 3, 6 through 7, 8 through 9. Rest in God alone, my soul. Only in God my soul is my soul at rest. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed at all. Rest in God alone, my soul. Only in God be at rest, my soul. For from him comes my hope. He is only my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. <coughs> Pardon me. Rest in God alone, my soul. With God is my safety, my glory. He is the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, O my people. Pour out your hearts before him. Rest in God alone, my soul. The second reading is from the first Corinthians chapter four, verse one through five. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is of course required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not <coughs> pardon me but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes. For he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts. And then everyone will receive praise from God. And the Alleluia was from Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Alleluia, Alleluia. The word of God is living and effective. Discerning reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel was from Matthew chapter 6, verse 24 through 34. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap, they gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin, but I tell you that not even Solomon, in all his splendor, was clothed like, clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, Will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. Amen. So, for discussion about the readings today, I suppose would be a good way to put that, is the main thing to take out of this is, and all of them kind of play on this, that God will always love you and take care of you. Um, obviously, first Isaiah, or the first reading of Isaiah and the Gospel shows this, and while you should worry a little bit about it, that should not be your main... I think it's more so trying to say that your main concern, or Jesus was tr trying to say, it's hard to interpret sometimes, and if I'm mistaken in this, I would not mind corrections, that we should not only focus on these things. The main focus of our lives, as always, should be God, because He alone is good, and due to the fact that, you know, this life is not permanent, there is an, there is heaven and then the second earth, we should not worry about fickle things such as food or clothes or any of these. As it was said, I mean, as Jesus said, all these, all these things the pagans seek, in, in a way, you could possibly say that pagans have been replaced by secular society, by, you know, um, just the various media outlets and celebrities. I'm not going to name any, because honestly, that's rude. 
but you could definitely see that by how some of them act. They only care about getting on TV, making a name for themselves, all this and more, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, I mean, as Jesus said, your Heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be given you. So just don't focus on that. Focus on God as the main thing. And I was gonna, and Paul says that in the first letter, in his first letter to Corinthians. Although, yeah, first in First Corinthians, I mean, we should all regard ourselves as servants of Christ. That way, I mean, that's what we should do. I mean, and they all work together in that regard because. Paul says, obviously, that we should be servants of Christ, and then Jesus goes on to, Jesus says, not goes on to say, pardon me, Jesus obviously says, yes, you need them, but keep your eyes on God first and foremost, and that makes sense. And then, obviously, God will never forget you. So, they honestly really work well together. So, yeah, I suppose that's the main thing of what I have to say. I'll probably start eventually thinking about these about a week ahead as opposed to just thinking of them on the fly because I don't think that honestly happens to be the proper way to do it or gives the proper respect to God I so in, in a sense that I'm saying if that makes sense but either way definitely curious as to what your priest talked about for the homily or else that or yeah I'm curious what your priest talked about and how mass was for you this sun this Sunday Thank you very much for watching. You all have a great day, and God bless.